Good day to everyone. Welcome to a series of Dharma talks on Buddhist, uh, World Buddhist TV, w a t j a n a w a Bangkok, Thailand, organized by Buddhist Sangha Youth Thailand. So today again, it's a great honor and privilege to have a special guest with us again, especially uh, they are. From I mean different countries, uh, which uh, Theravada Buddhism, especially Thai Buddhism, we never heard, we never learned from them so much. So today, uh, we as uh, on behalf of Buddhist Sangha Youth, I would like to uh, share the Dharma with you, especially from the various points of view. Uh, first of all. Uh, let me uh, introduce our speakers. Um, on my left hand side, next to me, um, Venerable Jim again. Please welcome Jim. Ah, uh, Sawadee k a p Happy to be here again. Yep. Thank you. <laughs> The next one. Yep. m i d e n e Hello. Nice to see you again, Sawadee k a p k a p The next, uh, uh, <coughs> Professor Takuchi. Sawadee k a p Nice to be again. Yeah. <laughs> And the last one, the the newcomer, is a k i s of the, I mean, uh, he used to be a Buddhist monk, especially in Thailand. So we very lucky to have him with us, as well, from Russia. So please, uh, introduce yourself. Namaskar. Uh, Kapov. His name is c h e n y a k a p w a s n u k Ah, c h e n y a w a s n u k Okay, Russian fellow. So today we gonna. Talk about the um, uh, discuss about uh, meditation or uh, even the present situation of Buddhism uh, around the world. So that's why uh, we have to uh, let them share their, I mean, uh, discussion, their their idea to our uh, Buddhist fellow, especially in Thailand. You know, to learn from them how the present situation. Uh, why? Um, how many? I mean, uh, Western, they turn to Buddhism, and how come they turn to to Buddhism? And one of the main issue, uh, they want to learn about meditation. That's why we got to know about the uh, present situation and also about meditation from from our guest speaker as well. So let's start with uh, our friend, the young, the youngest one, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Please uh, tell us about yep, uh, Buddhism in Russia. Um, actually, right now situation is changed a lot. Oh really? Yeah, because uh, if uh, before our parents, mm -hmm. our grandfathers, grandmothers uh -huh. tried to share with us the information, we are also a Christian country. Yeah. Oh, I see. All information mm -hmm. about Christianity. That's mm -hmm. all. No, mm -hmm. nothing else. Nothing. So. Um, something was working really for them, but something stopped working for us, mm -hmm. for the new generation. Oh. I don't know what happened, but all young people who is really uh, care about their mind and inner truth, uh, for them not enough some religious aspect. They need practice. They mm -hmm. need something which is uh, gonna be without any ceremonies, without mm -hmm. any. Uh, like uh, pictures without any praying or beliefs, mm -hmm. steal their mind. Oh. Yeah, make them uh, be free without drugs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let them uh, stay healthy in mm -hmm. mind and bodily. Yeah. So a lot of them go into India. Oh. A lot of them, hundreds of thousands, live in there. Oh really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They rent in their flats, and <laughs> it's enough for them to stay in India. Uh -huh. Stay in in. Uh, Uh, ashrams, ashram, I see. studying from different gurus. Mm -hmm. Some of them go into uh, Japan, Japan, yeah, mm -hmm. study also because they have very deep knowledge. Mm -hmm. And the Russian pay respect to the samurai culture. <laughs> so yes, yeah. <laughs> Some of them, uh, as me, go into Thailand oh. to study about Buddhism. And uh, as our teachers in Russia say, if you want to swim. Mm. Jump to the water. Jump. To yeah. If you want <laughs> to study idea. about Buddhism, mm. jump through to not just water. Swim. Start swimming there. Oh. And the best way is, uh, I think, 
to know deeper about Buddhism culture or about meditation is a good way to be ordained, actually. Mm. Uh, mm. And, uh, so I have heard you have been, uh, you used to be Buddhist monk, it's okay. Yeah, but I take it one way. Uh-huh. Uh, and uh, one way, uh, uh, just in my mind, to be ordained. Uh-huh. I didn't know how long, okay, <laughs> day by day. I uh, think yeah. maybe six months, maybe mm. one year. It take really eight months. Oh, great. Yeah, it was mm. very uh, deep way for me to understand mm. what is really Buddhism is. Mm. Uh, because we have many books, many yeah, movies. Yeah. We don't know what is it. <laughs> we want to know uh-huh. and how to know. We yeah. have no Buddhist teachers. We have right. no Buddhist temples. Yeah. Just one in St. Petersburg. Mm-hmm. It's very far from Moscow. I'm living I in see. Moscow. Oh, yeah. And it's uh, we have Thai temple. Mm-hmm. Very far e- for even from city. Uh-huh. Not, 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 not in the city. Really. Yes. I see. And uh, we, we want to know, but no way uh, <laughs> no. I- in yeah. that place where you stand. So we start traveling and searching for it. Mm. And uh, many my friends came also here and ordained in Chinese tradition, oh. in Japanese tradition. So I choose Theravada, Theravada. Yeah, mm-hmm. because uh, I find the very good examples. Mm. Uh, the, the man who was practicing mm-hmm. and showed me the way and I think, okay, <laughs> this is for me. I want yep. to try it. Yep. So, and this experience really changed me a lot. Mm-hmm. So I think that I came one person to Thailand and after two years, mm-hmm. two years is gone, I go, I go back. And then oh, okay. many people, they say, you come back different way, <laughs> different door. <laughs> you're, you're, mm. you're another person, I, I feel even myself. Uh-huh. And it was, it was really hard for me. Oh. Not, not easy to understand uh, many things when 100 people talk to you only Thai words, which you don't understand at all. <laughs> when I came to Thailand, I don't speak English, I uh-huh. don't speak Thai. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And it take a long time for me, just many months, to stay in the community, international monks. Uh-huh. We have monks from everywhere around the world. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. So in, in one kulti, mm-hmm. sometimes eight different languages at one time. <laughs> <laughs> How to understand Buddhism yeah, between yeah. eight languages? <laughs> yeah. So. We have Prajan who speak uh, to ah. us English, but not so often. Uh-huh. So many things I try to realize myself. What yep. is really Buddhism about? Mm. What should I study in? Mm. How to be a better person? How yeah. to change my mind? Uh-huh. This is this is really good questions which I still was uh, working on. Mm. Yeah, and I think that uh, monastic life gives me a lot and mm. answer to many questions by practice, mm. not by talking or listening to another person. <laughs> but just uh, through inner experience. Yeah. Yeah, and I am really pay respect to all teachers who helps, helps me to show me that way. Mm. Yeah. So all Prajan who really teach me, I say uh, Anamotana. Anamotana, mm. sir. <laughs> <laughs> and Jenya, could I ask uh-huh. you, you said in these two years you've had a transformation in your personality. Could, how would you describe what you have become as opposed to what you were? First of all, I don't know why, but I was so worried person. I was worried about so many things, no. and uh, don't worry, be happy. Not mm. really works for me at times. Uh-huh. Yeah, and uh, Thailand makes me make me so happy. I don't mm. know f- which case, what happened. Mm. Just uh, like uh, I was uh, missing my family, oh. which is people who is smiling, who is shining, who is uh, really. Uh, not surviving, but they they enjoy life. Mm. When you stay in Russia, you need to survive. You, <laughs> so need, to, uh, you need to fight. Yeah, it, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Here, I take my weapon and just okay, like samurai, take it off and just walk. Oh, no <laughs> weapons! It's amazing. Uh, this only one country when I, I'm not scared about anything. All right. I'm not scared. Where is my clothes? Where is my things? Where is my money? Uh-huh. Everything here, okay. Nobody take. Mm. You know, is that because Thailand is a Buddhist country, or because you were a monk and went into some deep meditations? It is only because of Thailand. I, I not the, my my changes is just a bit. I, we we are human beings. We want to change, but you know, very easy to change faster when you have atmosphere for this. Yeah, and uh, mm. much more difficult to become a better person when mm. you stay uh, with the like. Of course, all enemies in our mind. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, can I yeah. uh, give a comment? Uh, 
But in the old days in Japan, well, when we make some sins, then we are told by our parents that you will be go down to the uh, hell. Oh, <laughs> so we are afraid of you know telling lies and uh, stealing. Uh, yeah. Not governed by the, not controlled by the law, uh-huh. but by the uh, you know uh, religious uh, Buddhist uh, cosmology. Oh. And but nowadays, you know, people believe in science, <laughs> and there's no hell and heaven. You know, so so that b- creates a kind of anarchistic state, mm. and that has something to do with not only Russia but all developed countries in the West, including Japan. Uh, people have worries; they might lose their jobs, and <laughs> you know, always you know, constant worries. Uh. People scare a lot of things, <laughs> and the first, the biggest scare of the of the Russia is What's scare of the death. Mm. It's absolutely opposite here. I'm not scared of death anymore, okay? Mm. This body is gone, maybe I get another one, or maybe I don't, <laughs> <get> <laughs> maybe I don't get any at all, yeah, uh-huh. so... Uh, but you don't <laughs> think in that way that, oh, I, I don't want to scare... Because uh, actually, when someone dies in Russia, if you have happy face, mm. you get, you're going to be in trouble. Mm. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Death, death, yes. Wow. If you're not crying, if you like, uh, if you're a happy person, when when they look to the what happened in India, someone died. Oh, so everyone I'm shining, chanting, and the pray for him. Please go up, yeah. Uh, Different situation. Uh, Nobody want to die, and if you're gonna die, okay, everyone need to cry. So, but we don't want to cry anymore. Mm. Why cry? What is what is happened? You just uh, changing the forms. It's changing, changing, mm. and the Buddhism is really teaching it about mm. it. Mm. We we have so many subjects at school, mm-hmm. but we don't have the most important subject. <laughs> yeah, about yourself, about yeah, life and about death. About life. Mm. Yeah, uh, it's so happy the the students here in Thailand from the young stage till the end of the life they get some knowledge, mm. very deep knowledge. This ajan, this ajan. Uh, if you really can download the things, you will take the best. Mm. But they give. In Russia, you you it's good point. You search yourself. Mm. You know, someone give you a lot of things. You don't need to really use in life. But you can search yourself, and you mm. can get the best by yourself. So I'm really lucky. My parents don't really punish me if I don't go to church. Just a <laughs> bit, not really much. Uh, so you know, what you said about yeah. death, I experienced something very similar in Japan when I first went there, because I had never been to a funeral in mm. the West. Oh. No one had ever died, <laughs> except um, in Japan, mm. someone close died, an old woman who was related to me, and I went to the funeral where they burned the body and I was so shocked, it seemed so primitive, you know, you see the face and then they burn, they come out and you <laughs> pick the bones and, and I was kind of in shock and so I, I was very sad just because her but also just the whole experience and people said to me, if you're sad like that, you're going to keep her spirit down, you have to let her go, you know, and this idea was so strange that I must be happy now. <laughs> and people are drinking beer there. So then I said, okay, and so I started drinking beer and getting happy, and people said, don't be that happy. <laughs> <laughs> so it was within a limit. You know. So how about a professor? You know, uh, uh, in Japan, the people, they, I mean, practice meditation mm-hmm. um, was Yes, well, uh, the in, in Japan, the Zen uh, practice is pretty uh, popular mm. among uh, the business people. Mm. They they think it's uh, they can train their souls you know, oh. to to become uh, you know the international uh, business fighter. <laughs> <laughs> but but, uh, but, but, but uh, so they made a big mistake. You know. ah. it, it's not to fight, you know, mm. to, 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 to become a peaceful person, you have to meditate, you know. Right. I, I, all your worries and you, your anger and your frustration, uh, you can control yourself by, you know, sitting and meditating. Yeah. Mm. But, I, but, but Japanese yeah. business industry took a, you know, <laughs> wrong, wrong yeah. course. That's, that's I, I have heard from one, I mean, one story when the tourists, I mean, uh, a, tourist, a Japanese tourist, you know, passed by the monastery mm-hmm. meditation center, and then uh, he saw the, I mean, monk sitting in meditation. He walked past, and he he said like, a, uh, he oh, this is a lazy man <laughs> sitting in meditation. 
<laughs> Maybe they still, I mean, uh, economic person or, yes. or that kind of mm-hmm. business person, mm-hmm. but they might think of like a material or benefit. Mm-hmm. Or I'm not sure about that kind of things. When they saw uh, this kind of meditation, people are not <laughs> lazy person. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. Yeah. And actually, Zen meditation entered Japan in the end of the 12th century, around then, as a way for the samurai mm. to be alert to kill people quicker than they would be killed. <laughs> so it was mm. not just meant as a way to calm down and relax. Mm. It was a way to make your alertness mm. so that you could see in a flash from the corner of your mm. eye. It mm. was all about alertness. Mm. And that was alertness for survival to kill mm. or rather than be killed. Mm. So it, the, And also in World War II, the Japanese Navy was very much the, uh, into meditating in Zen as a mm. way of uh, for the kamikaze pilots, etc. And so people yeah. don't understand in the West too well how the history of Zen Buddhism is so intricately um, tied in with militarism. Mm. They think of it in a kind of abstract, pure sense. Mm. And in that sense, a lot of the Americans don't understand how the Zen has come about through history. Mm. Mm. It doesn't that also uh, apply in this overcoming ego and conflict with within yourself uh, as a spiritual warrior? Yeah, in the sense that you're not just uh, your conflicts are not ex- necess- all external. Mm-hmm. Sure, you that have the conquering of delusion and, and, and mm-hmm. well, even when you face death, mm-hmm. basically the doorway to death. Um, you know, can you cut through that doorway? with clarity, with confidence. And that is my feeling in, in Zen, and it's not that it's not true, that, is, that it isn't applied in a militaristic way, but when you look at your own conflicts within yourself, many times you have to defeat them mm-hmm. in a very similar, a- attentive, mm-hmm. focused, mm-hmm. dramatic way, mm-hmm. or be overcome. Mm-hmm. And so I think it, it has... a metaphor. It, mm-hmm. it, it can be. And I think many times it, it can be applied in either way. Mm-hmm. It's like Manjushri double-edged sword. Mm-hmm. You can cut inside or outside. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. And I think that uh, that uh, metaphor mm-hmm. is appropriate when you have to confront basically cultural values, parents' values and beliefs. Uh, it's, it's difficult. And you have to have that clarity to not be overwhelmed by confusion mm-hmm. and exactly. conflict. I so, Professor, uh, how about uh, both of you, the present situation, especially the United States, I mean, uh, I, I would American. like to introduce this recent uh, concept from the last few years. There's an MIT scientist, Sarah Lazar, L-A-Z-A-R, oh, oh. who is doing research on monks and their uh, proficiency in meditation. And she's hooked their brains up and goes through the scientific analysis and has discovered something fascinating, (laughs) that monks who have meditated for a long time Mm. and are very accomplished Mm. actually have one part of their brain, a membrane is thicker, Mm. physically, materialistically thicker than people who don't meditate. And this thickness would act as a kind of buffer for a lot of the stress and tension in the world and make these advanced monks, probably the two of you are monks, (laughs) who have thick membranes and able to deal with a lot of societal problems better than other people. And this is true through history, Mm. and that people from centuries ago must have also had these thick membranes, but they've only been discovered scientifically recently. Now, Asians may say, so what? We always knew there were benefits to meditation, and so now it's proven. But for Westerners, they've had a very different approach to meditation. They've been afraid of it, thinking that it's something foreign, exotic, Buddhist, not Christian. Mm -hmm. Even though it actually is um, part of Christianity and Christian mysticism also. Therefore, with this new research, I believe that it's going to, in the next 10, 20, 30 years, mm-hmm. create a difference in Westerners because they're going to know that this is something beneficial in this and they're going to have their children doing it and other people doing it. Instead of this exotic fear that it's anti-Christian, mm-hmm. they're going to say it's pro the mind. 
Mm -hmm. So I'm very, very enthusiastic about this research, and I would recommend your audience to Google Sarah Lazar, MIT, and find mm -hmm. out about the thick membranes of advanced meditators. Yeah, yeah. So we have the, this kind of, we have had this kind of, I mean, discovery of the reason of, of this, like a test, you know. And then uh, from my point of view, I mean, uh, it's good to, to have the scientific evidence, you know, to, to show uh, and, and tell the difference uh, when the, the meditation people and, and non-meditation people, you know, mm. how different. And then we can have the evidence. Right now they need evidence. They need like a, 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 a verification, right, mm. to, to, to show about the, especially in the modern age, the young. That's why uh, one thing, uh, His uh, Holiness the Dalai Lama, you know, he suggests that even the, the relics of the Buddha, true or false, <laughs> we should use the scientific approach, you know, mm -hmm. tool, you know, to test, to verify mm -hmm. if it's correct or not. Because right now, even in Thailand, even I just show you in the exhibit, you know, <laughs> it's very, I mean, numerous, and we don't know which one is true or false. But, uh, in Thai tradition, this idea is depend on, on the, the I mean deep I mean a devotion, when they they, they sometimes when they worship, is I mean uh, the relics the relic is uh, increased you know, but if the people um, behave uh, badly you know, and the relics are reduced you know, we can count the number of the relics. For example, about uh, three or four years ago you know we have the. A uh, Vesak celebration in the Premier Crow in front of the the Grand Palace. Mm -hmm. At that time, people, had, um, I mean, uh, the the officials in the Grand Palace, exactly the the relics, you know, enshrined in in the in the Grand Pal Grand Palace and 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 uh, Imro Buddha Temple, mm -hmm. and then they they brought the relics to uh, for the exhibit for the I mean uh, people to worship, you know. And they count exactly only, I mean, uh, six relics of the Buddha mm -hmm. after the ceremony, and then they count again. They recount. Yeah? Uh, it's a uh, one more addition. It's uh, seven. <laughs> <laughs> seven. Uh, they find one more. Yeah, find mm. one more. <laughs> <laughs> multiplication. <So, laughs> multiplication. <laughs> this kind of belief is uh, a kind of, I mean, a uh, devotion or, mm -hmm. I mean, a uh, belief. But that's why right now we should have the different set of explanation. Mm -hmm. Maybe some based on uh, science, as you mentioned about the uh, the findings, you know, mm -hmm. uh, or even some people they need like a, I mean a devotion or what kind that kind of thing, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. That's uh, I mean uh, sometimes it's good to get that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> only one. <laughs> uh, in the of the show, I เวลาเวลาเวลาผ่านไปได้เร็วมากกําลังคุยกันอ่าสนุกสนานเพราะว่าท่านอาจารย์ทุกรูปโดยเฉพาะอ่าอาจารย์มาจากรัสเซียก็
ญาติโยมนะได้ฟังแล้วก็ได้ได้ได้สนใจแล้วก็ได้ศึกษาจากท่านเหล่านี้เยอะๆนะวิทยากรของเราแต่ว่าเรามีเวลาจำกัดก็ต้องขอขอบคุณทุกท่าน uh, Indian Nova Show Thank you very much for you your much. Uh, presence <laughs> and if you have any question any comments feel free to do so share with us because we want to improve our show I'm p r a m a h a s u m p o n g as moderator on behalf of Buddhist Sangha Youth Thailand uh, we would like to thank uh, Our audience, viewing audience, for your uh, keeping, I mean, uh, uh, watching or viewing us. So thank you so much. See you next time, same time, same place. Bye for now. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>